Yo, Game Blaster 64 here. I've got a uh, huge amount of updates. I haven't done a video since December. Uh, a lot of changes at the uh, Game Blaster 64 homestead. So I've been working on this uh, from the top, um, basic on a world uh, for years now, and uh, I've been playing <coughs> locally. Let's see if this works. Come on, yes. Okay, great. Yeah, so I've been playing on my uh, my old laptop, and um, I just bought a new desktop computer. I had an old case uh, from college, and uh, I wanted to get my VR rig, my VR game on. So I uh, bought a new Core i5 with uh, N NVIDIA 970 and uh, 16 gigs of RAM. You know the whole shot. Um, anyway, so it kind of got me reinvigorated in, in games and. Uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to put this uh, this Minecraft world that I've been working on forever on my local server here at home, and that way I can connect it from any of my desktops and not have to worry about syncing the files. Um, yeah, but even between then um, and now, I've been doing a ton of work on this on this world. Now, I remember I left off last time saying, oh, I want to make a uh, you know nether portal between all the different areas in my, in my world. Well, I've done that. Um, I've got one here. Um, and it connects to the three other or the two other areas, including Canopy and I don't remember the name of the other place. Um, this is the house that I built in uh, Spawnton. And now originally I had a wall here, and uh, I was trying to build um, sort of like a map wall. But the problem is that uh, I don't know. I couldn't figure the maps out. The, the math is all weird, and every time I did it, I'd get one that's like. A little bit off, and it was just a huge pain in the ass. Um, I spent so long on it, and it just couldn't couldn't get it looking right. You know, it didn't work out anyway. So I know where I'm going. Um, I don't really need it. So what I'm working on now is just trying to organize some of my stuff. Um, I went between um, all my other areas and started collecting all the all the stuff to bring it to this location. I've got that red house out in the middle of nowhere that uh, I connect to with a, another portal as well. That's the third area. Um, but yeah, what I've been doing in the meantime is just trying to get some uh, XP. And uh, what? There's a map. Oh, I didn't even realize I had a map in my inventory. It's probably from the old system. Um, yeah. And down in my mine here, I found uh, a monster spawner that I put away for the future, which is actually right now. So I've got myself like a cave spider spawner. I'm actually gonna crank up the brightness here. I'm sure it's way too dark. You know, I don't think if I was in the tunnel, I'd be able to hear that that clearly. Um, so I just gotta say that having a spider spawner, a mon or a cave spider spawner, sucks for uh, XP because they can get through one one block. So I'm probably just gonna destroy that and go to one of the other ones that I have sitting around. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about VR. So I've got a gear, sorry, I've got a, a Vive. Um, I've got the Oculus Rift. And I've got a friend that has a, a gear VR. So but we've also got one at work. So if I needed to play in that, I could. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really loving the Vive. The, the room scale thing is where it's at. Um, my buddy, the, the guy with the gear VR, um, we partnered together to make um, a gear VR game for a competition called the Global... Global Archiact um, Challenge, and uh, it was a global uh, competition. We actually ended up winning, so we won three HTC Vives and a Gear VR. The Gear VR I just uh, I sold to him, and uh, the third Vive, obviously one went to me, one went to him. The third Vive we ended up selling on Kijiji, which is sort of like Canada's version of uh, uh, Craigslist. Yeah, so we got retail price for it. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of extra cash in the bank, but. Uh, yeah, it's totally awesome. If you haven't had a chance to try the Vive, definitely please do. Um, so we're actually going to um, port that game that we built to the the Vive. So we're sort of working on that now. It's it's very easy. Steam uh, provides a handy-dandy Unity 3D integration tool that uh, basically all we have is we have a Gear VR uh, camera object in our scene, and uh, we just have it swapping. Man, I don't have any swords. 
Um, we just have it swapping between that and the the Vive's like, camera object. So basically, you know, if, if we're playing in the Vive, we just turn that one on, turn the other one off, and then vice versa if it's on the, the Gear VR. So totally awesome. Um, working with it in Unity, like I said, is a breeze. Uh, I think what really makes the Vive awesome, in my opinion, is uh, not only the room scale, although that is a big piece of it, but I mean, that's been talked about to death. I think one of the big things for me is just how easy it is and how friendly Valve is in terms of uh, developers. Like, I know it's uh, it's been talked about quite a bit on Reddit, even on Twitter, um, you know, how unfriendly Oculus is. Uh, you know, I am not a fan of closed um, store ecosystems like the iPhone. I think that's anti-engineer, it's anti-developer, and I definitely, I don't want to support something like that. I mean, with the gear, you don't really have a choice, um, you know, because if you want to put it on the gear, you have to go through them. It's a little bit like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? Was that like, I have to look through the video again, what the hell was that? It was like, a horse got hit by lightning or some shit? Like, what? Yeah, so I, I want to release my game on gear, but they make you go through that that store. And the problem is that, at least on the Oculus, as shitty as it is, like their store situation, you can, um, the users can, oh, do I have game, like, God, hold on? I have a feeling I do. Oh, I'll just let them fight it out. Perfect. Actually, I should hit them once so that they don't kill each other. Um, yeah, on the Oculus, you can at least select, like, allow untrusted sources. <laughs> but even that's a shitty situation, you know, like... You know, if, you, if, if people buy a new monitor, you know, they don't need to go to Oculus and say, Hey, can I run this game on my monitor? Like, it's just so dumb. Um, I am not a fan at all. You know, it's I, I'm definitely a fan of places that put engineering first. I'm gonna die here. This is totally the end of me right here. Why is it that I'm not healing? Oh my god, this is so frightening. Oh! What the shit? All right. Hopefully my spawn's here. Oh, that's not bad. I'm very close. Yeah, things get all fucky when you uh, when you take a single player and put it into multiplayer. It's like the game doesn't quite know where to put you, and I haven't stayed in the bed yet. So I don't know. Do you think I can make it? Go get a sword and then. Should probably just hit him with the axe bucket. Did he die too? No, he doesn't. Well, that settles that. I don't have God mode on for sure. That's awesome. I've never had that happen before. Um, I remember seeing that like in the updates or something, but I haven't played like I don't know outside killing enemies in so long. I went up to the Nether and did stuff, but anyway, about Oculus. So. Yeah, I mean, if you buy an Oculus Rift and you buy a game on the Oculus Store, um, they don't let you play it with an HTC Vive, which is totally stupid. It's so dumb. It's like, you know, if I bought a game, I paid you. You know, why do you care what I play it on? It's just very, very, very arrogant, and I'm just not a fan. Not a fan at all. Um, you know, it, it's one thing to say, okay, well, you know, we need to authenticate your account to make sure that you actually paid us to allow it to play, but like, don't try to say how I can play the game that I paid for. Um, you know, you know what's next is like, oh well, Logitech, you know, says you can only play this game with our mice. You can't use any other mouse, or you can't use a Razer mouse. Like, it's so stupid. It pisses me right off. Um, and I mean, it, you know, they came up with that. That dude came up with a hack where you know you can play. Oculus games on the Vive, um, you know, why should you even have to hack that? Yeah, I feel like 
I feel like um, this could be so much better. You know, like I, I think my problem is that if you if you paid the the, the publisher for the software, um, I, like I don't feel like they should be telling you how you can use it. Like I feel like um, it's yours now, right? And uh, for a while there, they were actually actively blocking people using Vives to play Rift games. And it's just... Uh, I, I, and I know they, they reversed that position, but even the fact that somebody there thought that was the right answer is just totally anti-engineer anti and anti-developer. It just, yeah, it turned me right off. And you know, it sucks. I, I, think, I think what it is, I'm actually disappointed more than angry. Because... When Oculus had its Kickstarter, you know, like I was such a huge proponent for this. Like I, I was one of the first backers. Um, you know, I put the money in. I bought a DK2 when it came out, um, and you know they were very generous to give to give us all uh, free uh, CV ones. Like I really do appreciate that. I'm not trying to bite the hand that feeds me there, um, but things didn't have to go this way. You know, like there's the open source uh, VR implementation that you can use now. Um, Valve, you know, is is totally open with, with what they do. Like they're they're Valve being Valve, right? Like I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to get at. Like what they're trying to play at. Like what do they get out of this? Um, is it is it that they're trying to maintain quality? Like that they want to say like, oh well, we can't guarantee the quality of a Vive, so you know, uh, you need to use our stuff if you buy it from us. I kind of feel like. They might be a bit of sour grapes, or that they're worried they're going to lose market share because they haven't got the touch out in time. Uh, you know, like I'd, I'd be curious to see if, by the time they launch Touch, which is their like Vive wand um, competitor thing, uh, if the time they launch uh, Oculus Touch, that this requirement goes away. I'd be very curious about that. Should I turn down the sounds? It's a bit loud. Good. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I think, is um, sort of build this place up a bit. Like, one of my goals for the longest time has been to repopulate this village. So this village here actually... Uh, oh, is that another skeleton thingy, like, way out there? Yeah, man, this place is, like, filled with them. Anyway, that village out there, it's it generated before they had villagers. So it's still, like, a, technically a village, but there's nobody there. And um, I know there's a potion you can craft that you can throw at uh, a, a villager zombie, and it has a chance of actually like converting them back to like normalcy. Uh, and you know it would be really cool if I was able to actually like take a completely never populated village and actually convince the dude to stay, um, because it, it would be really nice. I think even just for leveling up and stuff to have somebody I could trade with. Um, because Minecraft is just so damn lonely. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot to talk about other than just the, the VR thing. Like, I wish you guys could see it. Um, I'm considering streaming some games. Oh, um, my favorite experience in Vive right now is, uh, without a doubt, the longbow in the lab. Um, there's also a second experience that I want to call out. It's called Vanishing Realms. It's a, it's a pretty cheap game. I think it's under 10 bucks Canadian um, on Steam. And uh, it's sort of like a Zelda game. It's a lot more linear, but uh, you actually have to like use a sword and swing it and, and use a shield and protect yourself uh, against enemies and not really solve puzzles, but you know, you know, sort of like solve Zelda type puzzles. Um, there's a lot of secrets, hidden stuff, and uh, the first two chapters are out, and I think there's supposed to be six chapters. So if you have a Vive, um, definitely go and pick up Vanishing Realms. I think it's probably one of the best experiences that you can that you can have on that right now. Um, yeah, other than that, it's been it's been good to to be back and actually like making videos again. I think I'm gonna keep playing, um, and uh, I'll make another one soon. So yeah, uh, with any luck, maybe it might be a Vive game. Who knows?